Hey guys, what's going on? So this is my uh, second moto vlog. I'm here in the hood in downtown Hamilton. Well, it's like these uh, abandoned uh, housing projects, I guess. No one's living here anymore. Actually, another day I want to come over here and ride up here and get a photo down there somewhere for Instagram, but uh, not going to do that today. Um, just want to mention something about yesterday's video. I noticed the uh, sound was picking up the wind a little bit, like get a little bit of a whistling. Now I'm going to try uh, a different uh, microphone setup for that to get rid of that. Maybe it'll show up today. I'm not sure, but uh, I apologize in advance if it does, but I'll definitely fix that. Um, so for today's video, I just want to talk about uh, motorcycle insurance here in Ontario and why if you're living in Ontario, especially in southern Ontario or eastern Ontario, like in the Ottawa area, why motorcycle insurance is so expensive. So that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. and. Uh, I'm going to hop on the bike, get out of here, and we will uh, get to talking about motorcycle insurance. Alright, let's uh, hit the road. Which way, which way? Let's go left. All right, so if you're from uh, Ontario, specifically here in Southern Ontario, like the Hamilton or Toronto area, and I would imagine parts of, uh, of Eastern Ontario, like Ottawa, then you are probably familiar with the uh, expensive rates of insurance, depending on the bike. Now I pay with my full M2 license, not my full M. So with my full M2 license, I pay about 60 bucks a month for this uh, CB500X. That's my monthly insurance rate. And as a new rider for my previous 300, I was spending, I think close to $80 uh, for the first year I had of ownership with my M2, um, just for insurance. So 80 bucks a month for a bike that you might only be riding, for a smaller bike that you might only be riding, uh, let's say eight to 10 months of the year. We got two solid months of winter here. Um, for some people, that's a lot of money, uh, especially if you are just looking to use this bike as more of a toy, uh, or to use your bike as more of a toy. If you're not commuting or using it uh, regularly, it's a lot of money to pay for insurance. Um, and now here in Ontario, in these areas, there's a few reasons why uh, insurance does cost that much. Um, Toronto is notorious for expensive both motorcycle and car insurance. Um, and same with like Brampton, I think Brampton actually pays the highest levels of insurance in the area, in, in Ontario, or probably even in Canada. And uh, they also spend a lot in uh, Eastern Ontario, so like Ottawa, because again, there's a lot of people live there. And now I'm here in Hamilton, so I'm about 60 kilometers, about an hour away from uh, Toronto and from Brampton. And uh, I'm still paying like quite a bit for insurance I mean, a lot more than our neighbors down south and a lot more than they are in uh, the neighboring provinces of uh, Quebec and say out in the Maritimes or even in Manitoba. And now there are a few main reasons for that. Um, why does it smell like chlorine? Uh, one of the main reasons for the higher uh, insurance premiums here in Ontario is the uh, vast number of drivers. So with so many people on the road, as you can imagine, there are a lot more accidents than in places where there are less people on the road. And now, that's not to say there's more accidents, say, per 100 people or per 1,000 or per 100,000 riders and uh, drivers, but uh, just the sheer volume of accidents means insurance companies are dealing with a lot more of the uh, accident BS on a regular basis. And when it, when it does come to accidents, we do have a lot of new drivers here you know, both younger people and uh, people that are new to Canada. We do have, I think, a statistically higher amount of, uh, I guess, new Canadians um, and new drivers in other places uh, due to, you know, immigration and uh, people starting families, you know, younger kids wanting to get into bikes. So that's uh, one of the reasons why we're paying more for insurance out here. Um, and another reason, another one of the main reasons is the way that the insurance in Ontario uh, is structured. 
So here in Ontario, I think it's, it's what's called, uh, it's at fault insurance. So, um, or what is it, not at fault? Yeah, I think it is at fault insurance. So both parties are essentially liable uh, for covering insurance costs in an accident. And now what that means is if somebody hits you and uh, you require like physio or you need your bike to be replaced, you know, any of that, even though it's their fault, it's your insurance that is paying for that. And now whether they go ahead afterwards and get the money back from the uh, other party's insurance, I'm not sure, but you deal with your insurance strictly. You don't deal, or a lawyer, but you don't deal with the other insurance. You have nothing to do with the other person's uh, coverage. And again, I'm not sure if it's them that, uh, it's their insurance company that is paying for it, but the person that you deal with is just strictly through your insurance. So if something goes wrong, if your bike gets stolen, well, actually that would be your insurance anyways, but if you're in an accident, and even if it's not your fault, it's still the other, it's still your own insurance that you're dealing with. It's, you know, it's your insurance, it's paperwork, it's all that that you're dealing with uh, to get everything taken care of, to get everything covered. At no point are you, uh, you know, talking to the other person's insurance uh, company, you know, it's all through your own insurance. And then, uh, so same thing goes, if, if, if you uh, are at fault, um, you would again only deal with your insurance and the person who the accident, the person that you were involved in the accident with, they would only deal with their insurance. Um, and I think the at fault system here, or you know, the way it's set up here, um, it just needs to more BS and uh, this is keeping uh, prices higher for uh, many riders here in Ontario. Then the other issue, and another, re another one of the bigger reasons why, uh, and one of the more common reasons why the insurance is so high here, uh, is because of all the insurance fraud and scams that are going on in these areas. So in places like Brampton, this is like Mississauga, Toronto, you know, that area of Ontario, there are a lot of insurance scams going on. And these companies, like I understand, if they're getting scammed a lot, they need to, I guess, hedge their losses, you know, they can't, they can't be losing money all the time, constantly. Uh, you know, their businesses too, they need to make money. Um, and to cover these costs, to uh, cover their higher expenses, what's up guys? Um, they're charging us, the consumer, uh, more money. And I get that, you know, when these companies are getting fleeced by everybody, um, of course they're gonna ca charge more just to not have to worry about the BS that uh, that they're having to deal with on a regular basis. And it's also, uh, here you're dealing with all private insurance companies. So these are private businesses, your insurance. Um, I know in some uh, some provinces, I think BC, it's uh, like provincial insurance. Um, so the province takes care of the insurance and I would imagine the rates are a bit more reasonable, a bit lower for insurance in that province there. And uh, in any places where it's like the state or the province uh, covering the insurance, like dealing with that, of course the rates are going to be slightly lower, um, you know, or a lot lower depending on the place. And uh, yeah, these are the main reasons why um, insurance is so expensive for new riders here in Ontario. And it stays expensive, like even as you become a more mature rider. I mean, yeah, they took off 20 bucks of my monthly cost uh, for my second year, but how much less is the insurance gonna get year after year? Like I know there's places in the States people are paying like 100 bucks, 150 bucks for the whole year. And some of these are places where helmets aren't even required by law. So how come in places where like you need helmets, people are wearing safety gear, we're still paying even more? It's those reasons, it's the population, there's so many people here, um, there's a lot of new drivers, there's a lot of insurance scams, and uh, it's just about the risk of the insurance companies that are willing to take, and if you want to ride, you're also taking the risk, and if you want to take these risks, here in Ontario, you're stuck paying these higher prices. Um, and the same goes for cars, so it's not just, uh, it's not just uh, motorcyclists like us that are getting fleeced, you know, people that are driving cars, especially new drivers, younger drivers, they are also getting hosed. What's up, guys? And uh, everybody here in Ontario, especially in Southern Ontario, is just getting hosed. I mean, again, it depends where you live. So if you live in like North Bay or somewhere in like the northern part of the province, Thunder Bay, Sault Ste. Marie, I would imagine your insurance is way, way less 
than uh, what we are paying here in the heart of the province. Um, and now, is there anything that uh, we can do about it as riders? I don't think so, not really at all. Um, all you can do is make sure you have a clean record. I mean, any tickets you get and for anything, any uh, violations, it's just going to just going to be paying more money every month for that. Um, so as long as you can keep up with a uh, relatively clean driving record and you get your M as fast as you can uh, or as soon as you can, then you're going to be paying a much more reasonable rate. Now, personally, I'd be happy paying, say, like 30 bucks a month to, to ride. I try to ride all year. Um, 80, 60, you know, it's not going to, I'm not going to go broke paying 60 bucks a month to ride a 500cc motorcycle. But uh, every little bit counts, right? And uh, so, you know, it really sucks when you have to pay here in like December, January, February. You know, you can't do like six months of insurance or anything like that. You always got to be paying that insurance. Um, and uh, so that really sucks. And again, it also depends on the bike you're riding. I mean, I've got. I asked my insurance. Uh, do you guys insure super sports? And the lady laughs on the phone. She's like, no we don't do that at all it's not something we would even consider because uh people with bikes like that i mean they're gonna they're probably a lot more likely to crash they're a lot more likely to get into accidents you know have something happen uh, i assume this is like the data that the uh insurance company has um they would they would know better than me but uh you know there's a reason why here in southern ontario it's hard to get insured for bikes like that and you know that would probably be one of the main reasons why um and also the cost to replace a bike you know if you get into an accident in the car they're going to do what they're going to replace the bumper they're going to replace the door you know it's uh they're going to do some engine repairs there's there's really not uh for most accidents like slower speed accidents they can fix cars a lot easier than they can fix a bike where you get the slightest thing happen on the bike and they are you know they're it's it's getting replaced like you are going to be getting a new bike they're gonna be covering the cost up front. Even so, so in my accident, for example, I hit a car making an illegal left-hand turn. I was going 70. Um, again, I, the bike was flipping over. When I looked at it, I thought, okay, maybe uh, the bike could be repaired. Um, could it have been repaired? Sure, but for the insurance company, it was just easier for them to cut me a check for the value of the bike. And I'm sure that's the case. I'm sure that's what happens in most cases. You know, it's way easier just to, uh, just to pay out the bike rather than having to worry about fixing you know all the fairings things like cracked frames it's just a lot easier to replace the bike and again knowing that as an insurance company they're choosing to absorb those costs and uh that's that's going to be passed into your premiums um and same with injuries in the car if you get into a car accident you're probably going to be fine i mean you can read about motorcycle accidents that happen here and nearby or people lose their legs like how often does that happen in a car accident you know I don't think that happens very often but you go off the bike at like 50 plus um, wearing even full gear and you're not gonna have a good day after that but you can get into like a 50 kilometer an hour, an hour accident like a rear end or something and uh, you might be pretty okay like yeah you'll be banged up yeah you'll be a bit sore but overall it's uh, not as bad as it would be in a similar accident in a uh, motorcycle and so yeah, with all this in mind, it's easy to see why we are paying such a higher premium for uh, motorcycle insurance here in Ontario, and specifically Southern Ontario, and even why you'd be paying more with a higher CC um, or more expensive bike. Um, and yeah, I think that, that just about covers what I wanted to talk about today for the uh, insurance. I think I uh, covered everything okay. Uh, if I missed anything, definitely be sure to uh, let me know I'm happy to talk about it otherwise that's uh, that's all I want to talk about today hopefully this sounds a bit better I am going to fix the uh, microphone maybe do some upgrades try to fix the uh, sound so it's not like whistling as much in the wind that's uh, that's all I got for today so thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to uh, like hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah, that's all I got, and we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the ride, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day or night.